My name is Blade Braxton, and I'm a member of the Raw Fan Nation. <laughs> I love those commercials. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is your Action News reporter with all the news that is news across the nation on the scene at the supermarket. There seems to have been some disturbance here. Pardon me, sir, did you see what happened? Yeah, I did. I was standing over by the tomatoes and here he comes. Well, apparently there's no RD's trip to the grocery this week. Uh, perhaps something else. That's right, kids. That's right, cripples, skanks, hobags, and hoochie mamas. It's now time for... Blade. Trip to the grocery. I was really hoping you would do it with the proper enunciation on that. Nah, screw it. Anyway, I was at the grocery store. Mm-hmm. And as I, was, as I was walking down my aisles in my local food mart, I went down one of my one of one of, uh, one of my favorite aisles, the chip aisle. Really. Oh, the salty snack aisle. The salty snack aisle. Mm-hmm. And I happened to uh, happened to catch a glimpse at at, at the Doritos section. Mm-hmm. Well, I like the Doritos. They're they're you know again we've talked about this a hundred times in the old days back in the day there was only like one type of thing. You know, like, there was one type of Coca-Cola, and now there's, like, 85 different types. There used to be one type of Doritos. Cheesy Taco. Doritos X13D. D- D- okay. They do not, it does not say what they can, what this is. And you're supposed to buy this bag, taste them, and then come up with a name for them. Wow. And I'm going to open this up, and we're going to get to the bottom of this situation right now. This is this is fascinating. <laughs> it's great. This is better than watching live TV. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> they taste like a big like a like a Big Mac. They taste like a Big Mac. Yeah. Weird. Like the like the. Artificial meat and mayonnaise and ketchup. Tastes like a yeah, hamburger Dorito. Good times. Wow. There, there it is. Well, perhaps you should, are you going to send in your, your suggestion for what to call this, uh, what to call this thing? I don't know. I'll have to come up with something fancy. But, you know, believe it or not, that's not the only beef we have to talk about. This I've got one more item that I found. All righty. At the grocery store. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, I, it's a Jeff Foxworthy beef jerky. This jerky tastes so good, you'll want to eat it naked. But don't. <laughs> hmm. Could you t- I like how when you chew, it sounds like a horse chewing on its cud. <laughs> Good, just took my shirt off. Time for uh, old RD. Lean back, ease the seat back, reach down between my legs. Uh, Mr. Braxton. To yeah? Reach down between RD's legs and. Ow! The bag. <laughs> you haven't been eating some of that Foxworthy beef jerky, have I? Have you? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not touching that bag if that's. I would not eat, I wouldn't eat beef jerky. I, I don't like beef. I very rarely eat beef. Fellow crapper Ultimate Kennedy writes, A few weeks ago on your show, you and Blade both talked about Miss Elizabeth's poontang shooting out $100 bills. What a marvelous thing. Like, like she was an ATM or something. <laughs> That's the way Andre and DiBiase were looking at her. <laughs> like you. The, the magic <laughs> vagina. Like Ted DiBiase had the code. Uh, the secret <laughs> pin number. Miss Elizabeth is the hottest of all time. That man. little, uh, that yellow, uh, bikini bottom she had. Actually, they <laughs> weren't even bikini bottoms. It was like a granny panty. 
<laughs> it's like she, like, yeah, I gotta take my, I gotta take my dress off tonight at SummerSlam. Grandma, you got some new panties? Tomorrow. <laughs> That's my my that's my country that's my country Miss Elizabeth that's my country Miss Elizabeth imitation. That was, that was uh, it, it felt like she was back from the grave. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Can we leave these poor dead celebrities alone? We already resurrected Lord Alfred Hayes. <laughs> we don't. Need, we don't need Elizabeth coming back on the show every week. No, you're, you're, hurting, you're hurting me, Randy. <laughs> so, okay, so Elizabeth was one of them. And then who else? Uh, Kimberly Page and uh, uh, Shakira, Kim Canner. The Kim. Uh, Kimberly Page, I always thought she was very, very attractive. Yeah, I would include Gorgeous George, but her stance was three inches from my face, and get and get this. Uh, she even gave me something to suck on when I was there. She had, it was it was it was the Halloween season. She handed out lollipops, keeping it clean on the show this week. I, I'm trying to continue the show, and I just keep hearing hearing your Elizabeth impersonation. <laughs> Oh, that's right, that's right, mean <laughs> How's your golf game, Elizabeth? Oh, it's going good, Gene. <laughs> oh, man. We need something to, to bail us out of this, I think. Well, I, I don't think I've ever been as happy to hear the uh, obscure wrestling news as, as I am right now. Although, to be honest, your your Miss Elizabeth impersonation is, has brought me such unbridled joy. Unbridled? Like like the time when, uh, kind of reminds me of the time when she was a bride at SummerSlam 91. You know what would be really, would, would be a lot of fun? Is if whenever this, when this person, whoever wins the co-host competition... They would ask you to, to, to be the, the other half of the, the show, and then you could, but they would ask you to do it as Miss Elizabeth. Oh, that'd be great. Mm-hmm. That'd be great, Randy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Rob Van Dam is, is going <laughs> to be there. I don't know if you had a chance. <laughs> did, you, did you happen to catch uh, Raw this week? I don't think I've ever laughed as hard in my life as some of the Rob Van Dam exploits of this one. <laughs> this has been... They, have I, to, I, they must... He, this is like his last week. Apparently One Night Stands is uh, His match is... That's it. And then he's leaving the company. They must re-sign him immediately. Because this I, has been... To, to borrow his 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 nickname, this has been five star entertainment. Oh, uh, you know, from you know, it takes it takes a lot for me to to include somebody into my favorite wrestler category. I mean, I've, I've, <laughs> oh, I've had a week. top. I've I've had a top three that that has been you know uh, pretty much the standard for the last fifteen years: Demolition, Black Scorpion, and uh, the the biker Adrian Adonis from New York. <sighs> In addition to the guy we profiled on the YouTube segment on the site, Rob Van Dam with concussion action is could be my new my new favorite wrestler. He is my I all love time. It. He is my all time favorite. Uh, Rob, Van, Rob Van Dam now with concussion action <laughs> now with concussion syndrome is my fucking favorite wrestler of all time. I love it. I love it. Oh, on Raw. <laughs> Oh, I, I, love it. I, I didn't think this was possible to be done. On Raw, they showed him, and they're like, because Randy Orton's gimmick now is that, he's, that he gives people concussions. Okay? Mm, yeah. And they show Rob Van Dam, and they're like, <laughs> he's got a concussion. He's he's out. And they and like he's, his eyes are just glazed over, and yeah. he's talking <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> I saw his mouth moving, kind of like a, kind of like a, like a fish when it's out of water. His mouth, you know, his mouth just moves. 
and I didn't think. I didn't think it was hey, you possible. Look like, you look like you look like you look like that like big mouth Billy Bass. <laughs> take take me to the river. I didn't think it was possible. I didn't think it was possible for that to ever be topped. <laughs> and then like it was like one night later. <laughs> and he blew it out of the water because he runs in like Randy Randy Orton's beating up Tommy Dreamer, right? And so Van Ham runs in and Orton looks like he like accidentally like taps him on the forehead. <laughs> like like, you, like it, this, it looked like whenever you pat a small child on the head, like yeah, I, I, good I, job, I, good job, Robbie. That's exactly what it looked like. And Van Dam like collapsed. Ah, uh, like almost. <laughs> and then they kept showing Van Dam, and he, this time his mouth didn't move. But he, he just was like staring. And yeah, the kicker I, was. He looked like the oh, kicker was boy. he was not laying down flat on his back. He was kind of sitting up a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, it's it like a cross between like having a seizure and giving somebody your O face. <laughs> and Randy Orton's in his face. And Rob's just looking at him with these big bug eyes. I swear to God. I swear to God. I looked at him and I thought, oh my God. Randy Orton has hypnotized Rob Van Dam. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna say, after watching this week, if if when we were talking about Rob Van Dam getting concussed, if that was not the lead into the haiku, I was going to be so disappointed in you. Oh man, you know this week, this past week, uh, WWE, WWE came down on Paul Lund for doing some kind of you know five stars, some variation of the five star, you know, shooting press. Yeah, he, he did like a, a, a shooting star press. You're not allowed yeah, to whatever. do that. So. Yeah, well, that's banned now. But I think they should enact a new policy, and that is anyone who suffers, you know, anyone who, like, you know, takes a kick or a punch in a match should suffer from Rob Van Dam concussion syndrome, like. I love it. Hence, <gasps> henceforth, henceforth. And start sucking water like a fish out hence, of water. Henceforth, no, 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 henceforth. No, no. That should be the injury. That should be the prime injury in wrestling. It used to be the DDP taped ribs. No, 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 no. Now it's the Rob Van Dam concussion syndrome, or as we like to call it, RVDCS. You know, I was not going to get this pay-per-view. I was not going to get this pay-per-view. Now you have I'm to. I'm going to get it now, and you know what? I have not marked out since I saw the Honky Tonk Man uh, come in as an entrant uh, in a Royal Rumble, you know, five years ago maybe, if Rob Van Dam gets that final career-ending concussion, I'm going to jump off the couch, and I'm going to... I would pay for that, because I want to see them wheel him to the back on a gurney, just as he keeps staring up into the white. With, Do you with think the big he... bug eyes and with the fish-out-of-water mouth. The big mouth of Billy, <laughs> Billy Van Dam. <laughs> Here we go. RVD concussed. He got kicked in his dome. Man, I'm still losing. I've got you now. Yes, <laughs> You hurt me, Randy. <laughs>